I keep seeing all these videos on YouTube of these like insane AI powered aimbots. They all look so cool too. So like any reasonable person, I'm thinking, yeah, I could probably do that. How hard could it be? I decided to do it for this random Roblox game called Arrivals. Uh, it's not for any particular reason, it's just a random FPS game on Roblox that happens to be popular right now. Roblox is a game that doesn't like hardware ID ban you, so if I get banned it's just going to be from one particular game on one particular account, so it won't affect me in the slightest. This game has a few different game modes in it. The, this footage is of the 2v2 game mode, which honestly is pretty fun. There's also a free-for-all game mode. And I think that's going to be our best bet for getting it's data for the model, the just game. because there'll be more enemies on my screen at once. So I'm just going to try to record like 3 minutes of gameplay and make all the data for the model based off of that. Hopefully, since it's a free for all, it'll be good enough. So now that we have like 3 minutes of gameplay footage, it's time to figure out how exactly I'm supposed to put that into the model. Then we can also pray that 3 minutes of gameplay is good enough to make something that's actually usable. <gasps> First I'm going to use a tool called FFmpeg to split the video into a bunch of images. Then we're just going to put all these images into a website that lets you uh, label them for training. I'm using this one because it's free and really simple, but there's tons of different ways that you can do this. First you just create the classes or the things that you're looking for in the image. In this case, I'm just going to label everything for the bodies of players and their heads. So now to label the images, basically you just box in the object in the image and then label what that box is for. And then you just have to do that for every single image in the data set. Then to train the model, what I did is I uploaded this data into a Google Colab, which is basically just a website where you can run Python code. And then I trained the model on on here, which basically means that it's using uh, one of Google's free GPUs to train it. And then after it's done training, it saves the best model that it comes up with into the Google Colab, so then I just download it to my computer and upload it into the aimbot. For the code, I pretty much just uh, went to the old project for that Counter-Strike aimbot video, copy-pasted the code, and changed the model to the Roblox one, and that's pretty much it.